are familiar sight round the coastal resorts during the summer months. The prettiest girl in the camp gets all the attention she is due as beauty queen. Photographers pose her for pictures, reporters ask her for interviews, but there's always somebody who can't get a look in. This one had an idea there'd be a crowd, so to get in the swim, he came equipped with an aqua lung. Not forgetting the one who's looking for the really unusual angle, the crowd of enthusiasts grouped around this lovely are cartoonists, the artists who provide our daily laugh in the national newspapers. They're on a busman's holiday together to discuss common problems and so on, but they find it difficult not to use situations all around them as subjects for fun. The true artist can never resist an audience, particularly when they're as appreciative as this bunch of youngsters. A child's name provides the framework of a sketch, and within a few seconds, there's something to make the kids laugh. This could be unnerving for a newspaper man who rarely meets his public, but this one seems to be doing well enough. Nearby, fellow cartoonists are not missing a wonderful opportunity to record children's expressions. The best cartoons are those in which we can see familiar people in familiar situations, perhaps ourselves, and laugh. So cartoonists mainly draw their inspiration from real life situations. As for instance, when the camp chaplain relaxes in the sun for a few moments, there's someone ready to use the situation. It has been often said that no artist can ever resist the challenge of an empty canvas. So when an attractive girl is posing for cartoonists, she should beware of wearing a backless bathing costume. Making full use of this living sketch block, he adds insult to injury by using her lipstick to draw. As we said, cartoonists are always on the lookout for amusing situations, and if one of their cronies is involved, well, he'll understand. That's life. 